Yo, what's up guys? I'm back again with another video. And uh, guys, today we're going to be working with the McGuire's Polishing Compound. And I'll be working here on my black 96 Spirit Century. And uh, what I'm going to be doing, guys, I'm going to be showing some of you guys, some of you beginners, uh, the best way to use a dual action polisher. Uh, you know, the easiest way to use it with a Let's say uh, I'm just using a polishing pad here. And um, yeah, uh, this is some of the products that you can use. Safe to use. Not going to give you too much cut. Uh, none of that kind of stuff. And I'm going to show you the proper way of using a dual action polisher. All right. Now, it's my method. What I do, you know, guys, you got to take your time with it. Don't go so fast. You got to get time. Give yourself the polisher time to work work the paint. I see a lot of people using the dual action polisher, but they're using them too fast. They're just going across the paint like this right here, you know what I'm saying? Can't do that, man. You got to slow it down and get a DA polisher time to, you know, to work the paint with the product. If you go too fast, you ain't doing no good. You just slide and glide and cross it, man. Alright, so no further ado. This is the polisher that we're going to be working with right here. Y'all seen it before. And I'm going to show some of you beginners. And once again, I'm using the McGuire's Polishing Compound. And I'm just, I am just got it taped off in the area that I'm going to be working in. Okay? So here we go. And some of you guys, some of you guys know how to use a polisher. Some of you guys think you know how to use a polisher. Really don't. You know? And um, here we go, man. I'm going to show you how I use mine. Some people actually go too slow. Some people move too fast. Okay, guys, I, like I said, I seen a lot of you guys moving that, uh, that DA too fast, man. Got to give yourself time to, and the polishing pad and the, and the product. You got to give it time to work, man. Some people just... Run across that thing right here. <laughs> and they don't, you know, they moving too fast, man. Like I said, the product don't get time to work. Or the, the dual action polisher. You know, it's got they moving across there, you can see. 
oxidized paint coming off. Man, they moving across it too fast, man. Got a section. You can even tell the difference already from this side to that side. See, it's clear here. Over here, it's kind of, see? See that? Yeah, guys, that's the proper way of using the um, dual action polisher. Okay, we're going to get a hit it with another pass. Just showing you guys, some of you guys that haven't never worked with the DA before. Okay. Just trying to help. I see a lot of people making mistakes. A lot of them think they can do it, but they actually ain't doing it right. Okay, smear it back up there again. You got to work that stuff in there, man. Got to take your time. You can't move that rotary too fast either. Some people say, oh, that burn the paint. That ain't going to burn the paint. As long as you keep it moving, it ain't going to burn the paint. Huh? Here we go. Let's see it. Okay, guys, that's how you properly use a DA with the product. No, so bump this back off here. Some people go too too fast, man. You got to um, take your time, and work that stuff in there on the paint. You know, some people say it's burning the paint. It ain't burning the paint. Only way you burn the paint if you keep the DA in one spot for a long period of time, like. Mm -hmm. Like there in one spot, and just hold it right there in one spot, and keep holding it in one spot like that, and just keep holding and grinding in one spot. That's a really only way you can burn the paint. You know, as long as you keep it moving like this, as long as you keep that DA moving like this, guys, take your time. Your chance of burning the paint is slim to none. You know. It's kind of hard to burn the paint with a foam pad anyway. That mostly had occurred with a wool pad or so. That's the way I was taught. Okay. 
Well, yeah. Uh, you see a big difference from this side to this side already. See that? Come back across the line. See the difference? Smoother. It's clearer. It's darker. It's shinier. Then you go back over. See the difference? And then I can wipe the dust off. See that? Still's a big difference there. See how clear this is? Go back over. It's kind of grainy there. Oh, you see a big difference there, man. See how pretty and clear that is? Took all the oxidized paint surfaces and stuff off there. I can get up on it. Let you guys check it out also. See that? That's the correct way of using the DA, guys. You got to take your time with it. You know, you can't move too fast where the product ain't working. You know what I'm saying? That's the proper way of doing it. All right. So, guys, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Share my videos with your family and friends. And, uh, yeah, guys, that's, I'm working with the McGuire's Polisher Compound, and that's the proper way of using the DA with it. Like I said, guys, you got to take your time. You got to get the stuff time to work the paint. You can't just fly across it like this right here, man, and uh, spit for it to work. If you're going to do that, you might well not even use the DA with it. All right? So, guys, there you have it, man. Get you one of these. This is for, like, I think it was like 6 to 70 bucks. Uh, pretty good DA so far. I enjoy using it. Okay? And um, this is some good stuff right here, too, guys. The McGuire's Polishing Compound. Get some in your arsenal if you ain't got it. All right, guys, um, there you have it, man. That's a proper way of using the dual action polisher with the McGuire's Polishing Compound. That's the, the best way of doing it. Guys, take care, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace.